Now, as I mentioned before, the toolbar contains the icons for different functions of Mastercam. But you'll see that there's also some toolbars located here on the right side, and also some icons and toolbars located down the left side. We also have one over here that is called the MRU. This is the most recently used menu. Now, any of these toolbars, you can simply grab it by the little bar on the end and drag it out. And you can really put it anywhere you want. I could put this up on top somewhere. I could leave it floating on my graphics screen. Or I could move it over to the left or the right side. I'm simply going to put this one back where I got it from. I can move that one up, and I can grab this one and move it down, and rearrange these however I want. You can also grab any toolbar that you want, drag it off into your graphics area, and maybe you want to have this on your graphics area because of what you're working on. It might be easier to grab things from this menu when it's local on the graphics screen than to have to go up to the top to select your icon. Or maybe this is a toolbar that you don't use very often. In that case, you can simply close that toolbar. Now, if you've closed a toolbar and you want to reopen it, you can simply go to any open area up on the toolbar, right-click your mouse, and select Customize. In this window, we can turn on or turn off any toolbar. So you can see there's a lot more toolbars than are active in Mastercam. I'm going to slide down to the bottom and I'm going to put a checkbox under the utilities. We can apply that and say OK and our utilities toolbar is back on the screen. Now I could of course grab that and drag it up here and drop it in place. We can also make a few other adjustments to the environment. Here we have the edge of the operations manager pane. So I can move my mouse over that edge, hold down my left mouse button, and slide it back and forth. So I can make the operations manager window larger, or I can make it smaller. You can even grab the operations manager window and totally disconnect it from the graphics environment. You could drop it in the middle of your screen, or you could move it over to a different screen. So when I grab the top area of this window, you'll see we have some choices on here on where we can place it. So I can basically move it over to the side here and drop it. Now you can close the operations manager. You can also close the solids manager. When you do that, it certainly opens up a lot of graphics area on your screen. If you need to look at the operations manager again, you can simply use the hotkey Alt-O. And that's the letter O, not the number zero. To toggle the Solids Manager back on, you would go to View and Toggle Solids Manager. Now we can see the tab is back at the bottom of the screen. And you can even grab these tabs and move them straight off into a different area if you want. Or I can move it back onto this page. I can have two windows. And to put these back together, I can just grab the top heading from the Solids Manager and put it directly on top of the Toolpath Manager. Now we have our two tabs at the bottom again. 